What's going on, everybody? Uh, DBZ fan four one. Uh, I just wanted to make a uh, a quick video. I I'm hoping that it's not very long, but it's about it's about the Demar Hamlin situation that happened last night. And right now he is like so. If you guys don't know, Monday Night Football, uh, the Buffalo Bills were facing off against the um, the Cincinnati Bengals, and about halfway through the first quarter, uh, I don't even know what play it was, honestly, I didn't even see it, uh, I just saw it, like, uh, like, a friend sent it to me, like, whatever, like, whatever happened, I'll, everybody, everybody is not fucking posting the, the, uh, the way he collapsed on YouTube, because, like, you know, it's, it's disrespect to him, and I totally get that. So somebody somebody sent it to me. So he made a tackle, and um, he made a tackle, and uh, it was to T. Higgins, and he got up, and he instantly, like, passed the fuck out. And um, he apparently, he went into cardiac arrest. Like, that. that's, nobody has ever seen that before in, in the NFL, where, like, somebody literally just passes out on the field, and... They are literally like, like they are like the injury. I wouldn't even call it an injury. One play in particular was so bad that they canceled the rest of the game, which is completely understandable. The Buffalo Bills were not, were they were never going to be able to play through that game. Obviously, like that. There's no fucking way that everybody was so emotionally distraught. After that event. And, um, he went to the hospital. He got rushed to the hospital. They were, they were, uh, they were doing CPR to him because, like, uh, he, he needed CPR. His heart just stopped. Like, there was no, there was no pulse. Um, and I'm not, that's not, you know, I'm just explaining the whole situation for anybody that doesn't know about it. I want to rant a little bit. Because, in my opinion, I fucking hate social media. I feel like social media is literally there, especially Twitter. Twitter is fucking just dog shit. It's literally, it's literally a place for miserable and shitty fucking people to go on that fucking app or whatever and to just argue about stupid fucking shit. Stupid ass shit. And when this motherfucker went to went into cardiac arrest, guess what everybody was doing on Twitter? Everybody was arguing left and right. Oh, the NFL should have canceled the game immediately. Blah, 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 blah. Not knowing that the NFL is a billion-dollar company. And, and a, w w w within a billion-dollar company, communication needs to happen. Communication needs to happen. And that takes time. That takes time, and people don't fucking get that. But, you know, it wasn't even just that argument. There were so many other goddamn arguments about this motherfucking subject where I literally had to fucking tweet, if you are not fucking sending good wishes or or sending prayers or whatever you fucking, whatever you believe in about Damar Hamlin, then don't fucking tweet about the fucking subject because that's d nothing, nothing is fucking... Nothing is fucking important right now than the the status and the health of Damar Hamlin. Right now, he is fighting for his life. And what are people doing on the motherfucking internet? They are doing exactly what the fuck the people on the internet do. They fucking argue, and it's fucking disgusting, and it's goddamn embarrassing for the whole world. I swear to God, dude, if there was a fucking button that I could fucking just press and fucking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even though I kind of like Instagram because I don't have to see stupid fucking comments of people that deserve to post their fucking opinion because they own a social media, uh, own a social media, whatever the fuck. If I could press a button and destroy all of it and fucking take down everything, I would. Because social media has fucking melted everybody's motherfucking minds. And it's goddamn embarrassing when last night, 
Instead of just everybody coming together and everybody saying, oh my God, Damar Hamlin, you know, I'm going to send a prayer for you. I'm going to send my best wishes. I'm going to do whatever, you know, I, I, we can, we, all of us cannot do anything because we're, because, you know, we're not the medical experts, which, you know, praise the fucking medical experts that are keeping Damar Hamlin alive. Obviously they've been doing a pretty good job because he's still alive right now. People on fucking social media, why do we have to fucking argue about this guy? Like, everything. We have to argue about fucking everything. This man is fighting for his fucking life, and people are motherfucking fighting, arguing on fucking social media about stupid fucking shit. And then fucking Skip Bayless had to fucking open his goddamn mouth and fucking... That whole that would that was a whole fucking other argument, you know, because you know Skip Bayless is a fucking idiot, and then Scott, whatever the fuck his name is from ESPN, like Scott Barbs or something, was placing blame on T Higgins for what happened to Mar Hamlin, motherfucker. Why are we blaming people? It ha it just fucking happened. There's nothing that you know. Why are we blaming people? Why are we fucking do? Why why in the fuck would you blame T Higg? It's not like he fucking did it on purpose. It's fucking football. And plus, I'm pretty sure T Higgins feels fucking shitty right now because he's the fucking player that Demar Hamlin fucking tackled. So Scott Barbs or whatever the motherfuck his name is, I fucking hate all the analysts on ESPN. They're a bunch of fucking assholes and douchebags and fucking fake fucking news whatever news people. They're all fucking fake. Why the fuck, like, like, if T. Higgins fucking sees that, he's already feeling shitty. But that, that is gonna make him feel even shittier. Why the fuck are we blaming T. Higgins when it was just a football, when it was just, when it was just, he got tackled by a football player in a football game? I don't fucking understand. Why do we have to place blame on people? Why can't we just fucking come together and we can just fucking send our best wishes to Damar Hamlin and his family, especially his mom? His mom was fucking there the game. I could not fucking imagine. I could not imagine what she fucking felt at that game when he fucking collapsed. I couldn't fucking imagine it. You know, you know what Damar Hamlin is, you know what Damar Hamlin's mom is not fucking worried about? She's not worried about whether the game got fucking suspended, whether Roger Goodell is a, Roger Goodell is a fucking, the devil for fucking making them play five minutes after, which apparently they, that wasn't even a thing. It was just, it was, I, I don't, who knows? Nobody fucking knows because guess what? Everybody on fucking social media was not there during the conversations between the Buffalo Bills, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the motherfucking refs that were at the fucking game communicating back and forth. Give the fucking, give the, those two teams and the refs credit. What, if the NFL fucking was just like, okay, let's just play, let's just play the rest of this game, blah, 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 blah. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. That's pretty shitty. But maybe they didn't know Maybe they didn't know the the level of impact that it impacted the Buffalo Bills. Who knows? But the fact that we are fucking calling Roger Goodell the devil, we're 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 fucking shitting on the National Football League because they were gonna make him play. Nobody was gonna make him play. It wasn't that wasn't that wasn't a thing at all. Players were warming up. After the after the after the fact, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was because you know w the NFL has never fucking experienced this before. They've never experienced a game getting stopped because a player went down with an injury, or in Demar Hamlin's case, a cardiac arrest. N we never experienced this before. Everybody keeps saying that, and just like Shannon Sharp said on Twitter. The NFL does not have a fucking manual for this situation. You know what they fucking did? They were keeping up communication with the with both teams, the refs, and they were keeping up they were keeping up communication like there was fucking back like there was something going on like back in the lock like near the locker rooms where like 
Both head coaches were talking on the phone. Who the fuck do you think was who they were talking to? They were talking to Roger Goodell. Who the fuck else would they be talking about? And who do they or who else would they be talking to? So the fact that people are literally just like, oh, Roger Goodell's the devil. He would have made him fucking play anyway. Blah, blah, blah. The NFL is just, they only care about money. Clearly, they don't fucking care about shit because they canceled the game. The game is not going to happen the rest of the week. We don't know when this game is going to happen. We don't even know if that game is going to happen at all. So everybody fucking arguing on fucking Twitter, just fucking embarrassing themselves over this goddamn situation, and they're arguing for nothing. And instead of fucking expelling all this goddamn energy on fucking Twitter, arguing about stupid fucking shit, and fucking blaming T. Higgins, fuck Scott Barbs. I don't even know who the fuck he is, and it's probably a good thing I don't, because... He's fucking stupid, apparently. People fucking arguing on goddamn social media. I fucking hate it. It's a fucking, it's just, it's, it, it's disgusting. It's embarrassing. And the only thing that motherfucking matters is Damar Hamlin's health. And we should all be fucking, like I said, I'm not even religious, but I'm going to send my best wishes. I'm, you know, that's the closest to prayer you're going to get from me because, you know, I don't do that shit. But if you're religious, if you're spiritual, send a prayer to his family his fucking him in general he's still at this moment he is still in critical condition and that's all we should be fucking caring about not fucking arguing on social media it's ex in, include it oh my god i can't talk especially twitter because twitter is just a bunch of fucking sad low life pieces of goddamn shit that's all we should be caring about is Damar Hamlin's health. That's all we should be caring about. I was going to fucking stream tonight, and now my fucking voice is fucking destroyed because I've literally just been fucking... This video is, tw is 12 minutes long. I did not expect that. But I just wanted to come on here. <sighs> I just wanted to come on here and um, make a video because it's been fucking bugging me since last night. Just watching everybody on... Just watching Twitter just be on fire. As it always is. Because people just think... That because they own a Twitter account, they should post their fucking opinion on social media. And when people try to fucking reply and they try to fucking and they try to fucking tell them because there was somebody there was because that was the big fucking that was the big subject was like, why didn't the why hasn't the NFL postponed the game right now? Well, like right after the fucking shit happened. And everybody's trying, like, everybody's trying to have civil discussions about, like, why and how the NFL's a business and they need to have communication and communication takes time. And people are just like, well, you're wrong. You're wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you're just fucking arguing and it fucking drives me nuts. Like, you know, I fucking have, I don't even know why the fuck I have Twitter, to be quite honest. I, I don't fuck. I, I don't know why I have Twitter, honestly. I could fucking, I could delete it tomorrow and I wouldn't feel fucking shit. I'm not on fucking Facebook anymore because there's too many fucking idiots on there. Instagram, you know, I kind of enjoy it because the videos are pretty funny and, um, I don't know. It's pretty funny. Uh, as long as I stay away as well, as long as I stay away from the comment sections, because the comment sections on Instagram are just as bad as everywhere else. But I'm going to end this video. I'm going to, I'm going to start streaming in a little bit. Uh, you're uh, you guys are pro. You guys are probably gonna see me stream. Uh, you guys are probably gonna see me stream before this video uploads. Uh, because I'm literally about to turn on my PS5, literally right after this. And this video, now that this video is like almost 15 minutes, it's gonna take a little bit of time to upload. But um, I just wanted to come on here and I just wanted to remind y'all that that there's a life on the line. There is somebody in critical condition. And the only thing that should really matter right now is Damar Hamlin. Not who do, who who are we going to blame here? No. Damar Hamlin's life is on the line. That's all we should care about. All right. I'm going to get off of here. See you guys later on stream. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I... I don't even know if I'll fucking upload this video because, like, I, it's just me fucking rambling for 15 minutes. But, peace! See you guys next time!